Yeah. All right. So these are the kinds of things at, at some level that probability is about. We're going to be extracting from these some mathematical models that, that will actually be much more precise. And we'll start with the notion of what is a finite probability space. So a finite probability space, capital omega, consists of a finite set, a ground set, and a function p, it's called a probability measure, which assigns to each subset a real number, p of s, the probability of s, and it satisfies these properties. The first one is that the probability of any set is somewhere between 0 and 1. Now, it's not an integer in general. It's not even a rational number in general. Second property, the probability of the empty set is 0, and the probability of the whole set is 1. And then the important third property is that if you have two disjoint subsets, S and T, the probability of the union is the sum of the probability of S plus probability of T. No restrictions on P other than these. And I put a caution on this. Uh, I'm using the symbol capital X for the ground set of the probability space, but later X is going to be used in a different way. So this is an overloading of symbols. So we've talked many times about overloading operators, but you can also overload symbols. <clears throat> 